So what I got is a little baby queen that I just saved her life. <laughs> you can thank me later. You can thank me by laying a whole bunch of brood and just filling this box up. I gotta hurry up and get some frames in before she emerges because she's close to coming out. I don't think she was quite ready to come out. Maybe a few more hours left on her. But they had chewed that cell and she really didn't have a choice. It was either come out now or die. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Set. You know what time it's got to be. It's time for catching some bees. Swarm earlier today. It says the ladder was the box, and obviously it wasn't. So I don't know if somebody else came down here and straightened up a mess when they fell. Or... See what we actually have. It's a little swarm, but a swarm nonetheless. didn't want to be tapped. She's unscrewing her stinger. Trying to anyway. I can feel it sinking so I don't know if it's going to come out. She's trying to get it out there. going girl maybe it'll come out nope and that one's a goner still got a bunch of honey left on it. I'm going to stick that in there and let them have that. How you doing? I'm all right. Yeah. They were in that tree in the median. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell very well out there. You probably could, but the wind's blowing pretty good, so they were 
Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Checking on a box real quick. The setup for my uncle. So is that swarm that we caught out at that house on the river. It came up Saturday. Today's Tuesday. I came up Saturday to find that I had left them in the nuke box too long and they swarmed. And it was like probably 13 queen cells in there they were all capped I opened one and I think that I have come back in time to catch them before they emerge so I brought another box with me and I'm gonna make some splits off these queen cells and leave him with two boxes and take the cells take the remaining cells back with me to uh, Maybe we'll make some more splits at home. <laughs> yeah, well, it's almost too late. They've already. Oh, listen. Can you hear that? There's a queen chattering in there. Like a chipmunk or something. They've the uh, at least one has emerged. They chewed out the sides of several more, and it looks like there's one, two, three maybe that are still good on that frame. Some more cells in here somewhere, but I can't remember what frame they were in. So I'm gonna have to pull them all out and look. There you go, there's another one. I'll take that one. It's undisturbed. Alright, here's a frame with one emerged. And three still capped with the sides not chewed out, but one of the bottoms chewed out. They've obviously got to that one. There's probably a couple of virgins running around in this box right now. I don't want to disturb them too bad, but I'm going to shake all the bees off of this frame and take this one frame back with me and leave that other one with all the other cells on it. I almost, almost overlooked the queen. There she is right in that pile right there. There she is. That's what a virgin queen looks like. Not much bigger than the rest, but you can tell she's a queen nonetheless. She's hiding under everybody. There she is right at the bottom. At the bottom with that queen cell. Yeah, I went ahead and caught that queen. I got one, two, three. Four more good cells on this frame that are, if I'm lucky they won't pop out in my truck while I'm driving. 
so they're pretty close to coming out right now. Want to get some idea how old the rest of these queens are, and they're uh, pretty young. I think I've got some younger queens on this frame, judging by what's, this one's been chewed out already. Wasn't much there. And I think these are all younger. So I don't have any concern with those emerging on me while I drive. These cells that are built up off of the frame like this are pretty easy to remove. You can see the way the comb is built up off the foundation here when they're built flat on the foundation they're not that easy so this was two cells this one's destroyed but this one's still good I'm just going to give this box a quick once over and check for queen cells because they're pretty packed. And I'm going to stick this in here. There's the queen right there. keep her with this box I move one frame of brood over into that other box frame if you can see is all laid up with eggs and larvae jam pack be a good start for this box and now this is a queenless box and I got all them queen cells in here and when I get back to the house I'll put protectors on those queen cells was one split um, queen right with a laying queen three frames of brood two empty frames virgin queen a couple frames with still some cat brood and, and I added a frame let's say there was two two frames of brood in here I added a strong frame of cat brood into that one plus they had that virgin queen and another queen cell so layer two frames of brood virgin uh, I'm gonna call it frame and a half of brood because it was that's a full frame of brood I put in there plus there was some uh, still some cat brood left and a bunch of nectar and pollen and such and then two frames of uncapped brood in here and all those queen cells so that was what I did was took one strong nuke and one recently swarmed colony I made a split and propped that colony up with a little more brood 
So now I got a strong split with a layer and I propped up with a little extra numbers and a new split. And then and all those queens, I'll take those queens out of there too and do something with them. This is rolling the dice here when you leave these queen cells in a box overnight. Here's a queen emerging. What you'll see here is that she's not emerging from a cap that she's chewed off. She's emerging from a side hole that the worker bees chewed out so the other queen could get to her to kill her. So I got, I got here just in time to save her a little life. So I'm, what I'm doing right now is transferring queen cells over into some nuke boxes. I got three here that are really packed and about ready to swarm so I'm kind of busting them up a little bit putting some queen cells with them let them continue on so I got a little baby queen in here fixing to come out and just saved her life you're welcome baby queen <laughs> 